A really important part of how JavaScript fits into the picture of the modern web is something known as the document object model, or the DOM for short. That's usually how you hear it referred to. When the page is loaded, the browser receives HTML from the web server. And the browser uses the HTML to create something called the document object model or the DOM. The DOM is a data structure that's built up that represents, that is built from the HTML that is sent. Each element in the HTML becomes an object in this document. This document is a, is a tree-based structure. And the DOM is really important because the DOM is what JavaScript manipulates in order to interact with the page. So let me show you a little example of how this works. So I have a, a, a you know, the more complex but still fairly simple page here uh, that has a couple of different elements. And if you look up here in the elements part of the Chrome uh, in Inspector, the Chrome Developer Console, oops, that's interesting, um, you'll see here that there are, um, you'll see something that looks like HTML. So you might wonder, is this the page source? Well, no, this is not actually the page source. This is Chrome rendering in HTML, the current DOM. And what we can do to sort of prove that is show how th that this can diverge from the original page source. So if I go over here and I, and I click on right click and I click view page source, and this is the actual source that the browser retrieved from the server. And this was used to build the DOM, but once the DOM is constructed, the DOM and the page source can diverge from each other, particularly when JavaScript starts manipulating the page. So let's go uh, do an example of this. I'm going to zoom in here, and I have a JavaScript console down here, which is super fun. I have jQuery loaded, which is super fun. And uh, without getting into too many details, I'm, I'm going to use jQuery to change the text of the first paragraph. So I'm getting all the paragraph tags. I select the first one, and I run this jQuery function called text, which will allow me to change the contents. So right now, the first paragraph consists of this text, real web pages required the browser to fetch multiple resources, blah, blah, blah. And let's say that I wrote some code that came along with the page, and I don't like that text, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to change it to something else. So I'm going to run this function, uh, and it, it has a return value. It returns the text that was uh, added. And look, the paragraph, the text is gone. It's been replaced by what I added here. And if I do this multiple times, I can uh, you know, uh, replace the text with other things. Um, you know, and you can imagine that I have some uh, information here that might I could just change this on the fly. So, like the, the parts of pages that you've seen interacting with each other, changing, a lot of times that's because JavaScript is actually manipulating the page. But let's look at what happened here. So I, I made these changes. Now, if I go back here and, and hit view source, um, what I'm going to see is the same text I saw before. So this was the original text. This is still the source of the page. The source that I got from the server still said, real web pages require the browser to fetch multiple resources, blah, blah, blah. That was the first paragraph. If I look over here at the DOM, however, uh, let's use the inspector to pull this up. Um, it shows that this has changed. And actually, uh, let me show you something cool. So the, the Chrome DOM will actually help you notice when parts of the page are changing. So let's change that back to Greg is great. Um, look. So it's been highlighted. This is showing you that the DOM, uh, the Chrome knows when the DOM is changing. Obviously, it maintains the document object model, and it can highlight this in the view. So the document object model is this data structure that JavaScript manipulates in order to change the contents of the page. And JavaScript can do anything to this. So the modern web applications that you use, if you use in-browser mail clients, if you use things like Google Docs, if you use any sort of web application, um, this is what's happening. There's JavaScript's code. The code that's running and the way that it interacts with you and the way that it changes the interface that you're looking at is by manipulating the dom document object model. So built from the HTML, but definitely diverges from that HTML over time.